Your S24 Ultra is already expensive enough, but you want a case. But you think spending more than 30 US dollars on a case is insane. Now I got you. In that scenario, my top five is as follows. First up, the most expensive one and the bulkiest for sure. It's amazing value though. This one is actually one of my favorites, with or without budget. The Subcase UB Mac XT. This bulky yet sleek feeling case will protect your S24 Ultra for sure. And not only in the traditional ways. Sure, it has tons of corner protection, a strong feeling backplate, and it's made of polycarbonate. But it also features one of the most unique camera bumps on the market right now. This zinc alloy camera bomb protection plate can be opened fully to make use of the camera, but of course it can stay like that too because the hinge is a proper one. But when you're done and you want to maximize the protection level, just close this vault door, which by the way has a soft inner lining to avoid scratches and even a click at the end to ensure it's closed. This does not only look fantastic, it works like a charm. And like I said, the case has very good corner protection, but they made it with a slim side profile, which is excellent for holding the phone. And along with that, very comfortable clicky buttons. Which aren't huge, like most other cases with this design. Very aggressive front protection too, which is mostly present at the top and bottom. But we'll make sure your screen is not breaking anytime soon. And of course, with MagSafe magnets, which are actually very decent. Just make sure the MagSafe accessories aren't too big though, since the camera bump will then push them off the magnets. But with most accessories, this isn't an issue. And at only $26.99, this one is more than great value. Awesome case. Next up, the Spiegel Neo Hybrid. I really like this case, but there is always so many choices. I feel like it's absolutely the perfect case for this list though. And with its price at only $21.99, it's amazing value too. As you can see, the sides are reinforced with this harder material. And you'd think it's some kind of aluminium or metal, the way it's colored, but it's polycarbonate. No matter, because it still feels strong and it will give the impression of holding the phone itself with the slight rounding and different materials on the sides. And even though it may look like two pieces, they are not meant to be taken apart, so don't try. Because of the two materials, it's also very grippy. Well done, Spiegel. It features those same tiny rings around the camera lenses, just like with the Zero One, which is too little protection for my taste, but it does prevent wobbling. Pretty much equal on the front bezel, but the top and bottom are thicker. The buttons are soft, I'd say like a silicon type of material, even though it says TPU on their website. They are clicky too, so nothing to complain. Solid case. And even though it may require a little readjusting if you put this case on for the first time, it's still really easy. Caseology has a few choices, which are all really good. But their Athlax case is one of my favorites. It looks like a puffer jacket, but its design can be perfectly suitable for a business meeting as well. It's not as flashy slash trendy, but it still looks modern and sleek. The material on the back will also make sure you keep that phone locked in your hands. And it will definitely not slip out of your hands anymore. While still maintaining a comfortable bottom profile, because we don't want that same material rubbing up against our support finger. Excellent fit, really a 10 out of 10. The camera bump is perfectly flush, but there is a small difference in height around the camera. Still, not much of camera protection present here, so this could be the only downside. I also like the contrast in material, and if you ever had your hands on the Rinky Onyx, the material on the backplate is exactly like that. Grippier than normal plastic, and a little rough. The sides are even rougher and in combination with the unique shape on the sides make for an excellent grip. A mix between Kadabi and D-Brand as far as material goes. Very affordable too, at only $15.99. You cannot go wrong with these. The USB-C port cutout is big enough to accommodate third-party cables and the buttons are very clicky too. It has a small front bezel though and I would love for it to be just so slightly bigger. On the front, no edges of the titanium are visible and it looks good because of it. On the inside, it almost looks as if it features MagSafe, but it's not MagSafe. It's just padding and design. Looks great though. 
Spiegen has one more up its sleeves. This very thin but still protective case is awesome. It doesn't feature MagSafe, but if you don't really care about that, this is an excellent choice. The material is also very comfortable. Grippy enough, yet not annoyingly overtextured to achieve it. Matter of fact, it's as smooth as silk. I called it the tailored suit for your phone back then, and it still holds true. I just wanted a bigger camera bump on this one. And sadly, they've chosen the same micro rings to protect that set of lenses. That's its only downside though. Very clicky buttons, good cutouts, and the front bezel is more than enough. Especially for a minimalist case. It does only swell up at the top and bottom, so it's not as high on the sides. The fit is very good too, and all that for the amazing price of $16.99. Whoa, amazing value. Imagine that, $16.99, some screen protectors are more expensive. Of course, Rinky belongs in this list as well. I featured the Fusion Bolt in my other top five video, and that's not without reason. Yet here, I think the Fusion X is more accurate. Since this one has so much protection, as well as a thought out design, which is available with and without MagSafe, so you can even choose this by yourself. It looks very good while doing it, and it features very clicky buttons. Awesome camera bump as well, a lot of protection here too, and it even features those bumpers on the other side to even out the bigger camera bump, so that it doesn't wiggle as much on the table. These very same corners are really hard, and they are present on each corner, making this one one of the best value cases there is. It's also slimmed down at the sides, has a grippy texture and profile, so what more is there to say? Awesome choice. Now I'm still working on my tier list video, which will rank all cases I've seen so far. But before I do that, my top 10 will come out soon too. So make sure you subscribe, or at least show up once in a while to check that out as well. And if you want to watch more right now, make sure you watch either of these two, and I'll see you in a minute.